What's up YouTube? This is Collect Pokemon and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the price trajectory of 151. And hopefully by the end of the video, you guys can make your own decision in whether to pick up the singles now or to pick up the singles a little later because you can get it for a little cheaper. So before we get into it, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I want to thank you all for subscribing to this channel. So let's go. 151 was released on Friday, June the 16th, and you know, just now we've experienced the first weekend after release. Initially, I had my reservation about this set. I simply do not know how well this set will do in the short run. In the long run, I'm pretty sure this set is great and it's amazing, but in the short run, I simply did not know about the supply and with the current hype in Pokemon, would the price actually go up after pre-order? I mean, after initial sale. And like I said, only time can tell. And time has told me that the price is fallen or has fallen very similarly to all the previous uh, sets that has been released. So here is my observation and here is what I think. My observation is that there are still a lot of 151 box around the world, especially in Japan, in the hands of the pseudo distributors. Many pseudo distributors have been posting on uh, Facebook pages, has been messaging me on Instagram asking if I need more 151 boxes. So what I do believe is that there is quite a large supply of 151 boxes, but many sellers are not willing to lower the price. So basically, it's just kind of sitting there. They're just waiting and seeing. Uh, what I believe might happen is that if they wait too long and if they see that there is a chance of profiting from opening and grading these cards, they will definitely do so. Um, because the expected value overall from the single card uh, is, I mean, to be very honest, is actually quite high. So if we take a look at the Card Rush website, we can see that there are around six cards that are more than 10,000 yen. We have the Erika. We have the other Erika, we have the Mew, the Master Ball Reverse Pikachu, the Charizard, and the Gold Mew, as well as the Zapdos SAR. So what we do see are that these cards are still sitting at more than 10,000 yen. But one thing to note is that the first print run seems to have a lot of printing errors and printing quality issue. So if you do buy one online, something you have to consider is whether they can actually be graded as a PSA 10. So, you know, that, that is something that you should consider. It's, there might be a higher risk, but it, overall, yeah. So this uh, disclaimer. Now, what about the other cards? Um, there are a lot of other cards under 10,000. So between around 3,000 yen to 10,000 yen, there's quite a number of cards with many of the full arts and the rest of the SAR. Uh, we also do see some Master Ball Reverse here sitting at around that 5,000 yen, as well as those Evolutions sitting at around 4,500 yen. So um, they're definitely really, really sought after cards right now. And a lot of them are listed as A- minus or B condition, which means that the near mint one is more difficult to find. So um, yeah, what I do believe is that the, the card price that are priced at around $3,000 to $10,000 right now, again right now, will have room to go down even more as more and more of these boxes are open. But the downside is that it might not be as easy to find a PSA 10 copy. So something that you might want to consider and look at is that the uh, pop report after a month or so, you can see the percentage getting a 10 before considering whether to buy singles or not, because that would greatly reduce your chance of getting a PSA 10. Now the 151 set, you know, we do see a lot of more 10,000 plus yen card and that's because that the set is much larger than previous set. Previous set, usually they have a set of 70 something cards and even with both side, like, uh, you, know, the, you know, the violet and scarlet side or the clay burst and snow hazard side, you know, the, the number of cards is still less than the number of cards found in 151. So around six cards, within the 151 having more than 10,000 yen, it, it, it kind of makes sense. But like I said, more of these will be open, more of these will be printed, so full art cards will definitely start dropping in price. 
we already see the AR cards in the set. So the illustrative wear or something like that, you know, the Pikachu, the Skirtle, the Charmeleon, the Charmander, those are all falling in price. And I think that they will continue to fall for a little bit longer. They might sit at around that 1,000 to 2,000 yen. And I think that would be a sweet spot in where people can start picking them up. In terms of the Master Ball Reverse, um, overall the quality are not as bad. I don't think that they are as difficult to grace than the regular Reverse in which there's a lot of print line and so on. But I do believe that the Master Ball hype has kind of cooled down until you have some crazy collector showing you an entire PSA 10 set. Um, you know, that might spark some interest. But at this point, I do believe that, you know, the price of those are going to continue dropping with the exception of the Evolutions, Eevee, Snorlax, Pikachu, Mewtwo. You know, a few of these would definitely hold up its price um, simply because it's, it's just much more popular. So, um, yeah, that's what I think. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Would you spend around 130 to 150 US dollar right now buying a booster box? Or would you buy a single? Or would you hold and wait until around a month's time and then buy a single? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace to Collect Pokemon. Bye-bye.